This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News. A convicted sex offender has been executed for slipping into a San Antonio apartment in the middle of the night, snatching a seven year old girl and raping and strangling her. The Associated Press reports 46 year old Guadalupe Esperanza was pronounced dead at 6.21 p.m. Central Standard Time Wednesday from a lethal injection. Esperanza's appeals were exhausted and there were no last-day efforts to spare him. The battered body of Alyssa Maria Vasquez was found in some weeds near her home hours after she was reported missing in June 1999. A babysitter who discovered her gone identified Esperanza as visiting the residence earlier that night. Esperanza had been calling her even though she had given him the brush off. DNA evidence linked him to the slaying. A Houston man convicted in a brutal attack that left his girlfriend permanently disfigured was sentenced Thursday to 30 years in prison. According to KHOU.com, a jury on Wednesday found Gregory Lagoria Jr. guilty of aggravated assault of a family member. The sentencing phase of his trial began shortly after the verdict was read. He faced life in prison. Prosecutors said Longoria tied his girlfriend to a bed and beat, choked, and burned her for more than 15 hours back in February of 2011. Defense attorneys and the victim insisted that it was just a sex game that went too far. Investigators called it one of the worst assaults they've ever seen. A jammed lock on an airline bathroom door caused anxious moments for the pilots aboard a flight from North Carolina to New York City. From the Associated Press, the plane's captain told air traffic controllers he accidentally got stuck on the LaGuardia-bound Chautauqua Airlines flight from Asheville Wednesday night. When a passenger with an unfamiliar accent tried to alert the co-pilot in the cockpit, the co-pilot became alarmed and notified air traffic controllers. A controller told him to consider declaring an emergency. A radio recording from the website LiveATC.net shows the captain eventually got himself free from the laboratory. He told controllers there was no threat. A spokesman for Republic Airlines, which runs Chautauqua, did not immediately comment on the misunderstanding. This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News.